the extension services were some started sometime, I'm not sure of the date, probably 1980s. That is after I became the director of NIMHANS. The idea came to me because of my own involvement in my village where I was born, that was Gunjo. When I was the superintendent of the mental hospital, that was from 1968 onwards, I started going to the village to help the people in 1969 or 1970, probably 1970. Started alone first, then I thought I should take the help of my colleagues who are working in the mental hospital. So we became two, three like that. So like that, whoever available, at least uh, once a month we started with visiting my village, Gunjo. Then we realized that not only diagnosis, not only prescription will help the villagers, that we have to make some arrangement for them for the drugs. So of course, local people were requested to help poor people. And if this was going on, whatever samples we were getting, particularly with me and my colleagues in the mental hospital, we were used to bring and distribute that. So this idea was going on in a very uh, gentle way, slowly, but not a big camp, camp or anything like that. But whenever we used to come, we used to see about at least 50, 60 patients on those days. When I became the director, I thought this is going to benefit at the time, Gunjur was about 20 kilometers from the uh, city and it was real village. There was no pharmacist, there was no doctor, there was no hospital, nothing like that. So this made me to think that we should make this as an official commitment of the institute instead of individuals doing it. That's how the idea was put before our the heads of the department meeting because we used to have regular HOD meetings at the institute when I was the director. I remember vehement opposition by some of the my own colleagues saying that it is only another uh, outpatient service you are going to do, nothing is going to happen, it's, it should not be started, it's a waste of time and all that. It took me almost uh, two or three meetings to convince them to show how the villagers are suffering how they are, not only the speciality is not accessible to them, but they can't even afford to buy drugs. So therefore we should do something. Then in principle we agreed. Then we thought it should not be the institute alone, it should take it up. It should involve the local organizations like Rotary Club, or Lions Club, or Gram Panchayat, or some industrial donors like that. So thus we decided at least four or five we should take it up. So a team should be formed. One team will go to one taluk headquarters of a district. So like that we decided to take four districts. We took Bangalore, Tumkur, Kolar and uh, Bangalore Tumkur and Mandya district. These are the four nearby districts. And for each district we allotted one one consultant, psychiatrist consultant and neurologist, psychiatric social workers. And like that each team will develop that. And I solicited the help of the district health officer as well as the local uh, Lions Club and Rotary Clubs like that. We can see even now, Kanakpura, which is the Bangalore district, Lions Club has done an excellent service. Similarly, Rotary Club in Madhu, Rotary Club in Madhugiri, they were all helpful, though slowly they faded off later on. So that's how the initials started working up. And we could see the it is not only became helpful to the poor people, it, we were able to get from this how to develop research develop from this aspect. This is the one which made uh, Gauri Devi and others to do some epidemiological surveys. I can assure see that from surveys to the research. In between, the residents were started having the exposure how to treat a mass with little equipment within us, without much of investigation facilities. 
That's how we started the extension services. Your second question is, is it relevant now, particularly with the urbanization, particularly with increasing specialist, is it relevant? Of course, during the last, uh, I have heard even recently, the mental health program, intention is to integrate uh, psychiatry with the general health care 